That would be as if Jesus punched Peter or any other disciple in the mouth and then was like, hey, uh, you're going to hate me. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. By now, you've seen this. This was Saturday. This is where Ty Gibbs absolutely dumps his teammate and goes on to win the race and cost his team two playoff spots, blah, 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 whatever. You've seen it by now. This is not anything new, or it shouldn't be, uh, because this is a few days old now. Ty Gibbs subsequently gets uh, absolutely demolished by a Martinsville crowd. They boo him and tear him a new one. And then later on, he goes on to Sirius and says this. Jesus was hated first and among all the people, that's part of it. Ty Gibbs is comparing himself uh, in a roundabout way to Jesus Christ. And he's getting absolutely demolished for it online. There's article after article, video after video of people destroying him for comparing himself to Jesus, but no one has even thought to look into it to just double check to make sure that Ty Gibbs isn't Jesus Luckily, that's what I'm here for, so let's do a quick Google search together to see if we can find out if Ty Gibbs is in fact, or isn't in fact, Jesus Christ. Okay, so first thing we have to do is uh, we'll do just a quick search on Ty Gibbs here. Ty Gibbs, uh, he was born October 4th, 2002, and he was born in Charlotte, North Carolina. It says here, that he is the son of former Washington Commander's assistant coach and former NASCAR driver Coy Gibbs and Charlotte area realtor Heather Gibbs. It says here that he is 20 years old. So let's back out of this and let's check out Jesus himself. Uh, Jesus looks to have been born, uh, what does it say, right here, 4 BC. He was born Herodian Kingdom of Judea Roman Empire. I always thought it was Nazareth, or maybe that's just a, a long-winded way to say Nazareth. I'm not exactly sure. It says Jesus is, in fact, dead. Uh, he didn't, he made it, uh, it looks like he passed away in uh, 30 or 33 AD. And let's see if we can find his parents. Oh, there they are, right there. It says Mary and Joseph were his parents. So yeah, I mean, I, without getting too far into it, and those are just Wikipedia sources, it does appear that uh, Ty Gibbs is not, in fact, Jesus Christ. I can say that with 99.8% certainty, just because, I mean, you never know. Crazier things have happened, right? I think it would have been awesome if he just didn't compare himself to Jesus. I mean, I know what he's trying to do, uh, but also, that would what he did in comparison to what Jesus did, that would be as if Jesus punched Peter or any other disciple in the mouth, and then was like, hey, uh, you're going to hate me. It's part of it, but, uh, you know, I had to hit you in the mouth real quick. It's hard to compare putting your teammate into the wall in a NASCAR race to being hated because you're spreading the gospel um, across the world and claiming that you are the son of God. Uh, those, are, those are pretty big. Those are pretty different. Some would say. Some would say those are pretty different. But, you know, who am I to judge? One thing I do think we need to keep in mind here is that Ty Gibbs is 20 years old. He is a kid. He has been spoiled. He has had a silver spoon in his mouth since the very, very beginning. Most of these kids that are racing in that series have at this point. Um, so give give him a little bit. I mean, that was a, a douchebag move. Let's be honest. It was a douchebag move. But let's give him a little bit of a break here. I've seen, I've seen a lot of like grown men, NASCAR guys just absolutely... Uh, demolishing this kid as if they never made a mistake at 20 years old. So was it a big mistake? Absolutely. Massive. Huge. Uh, uh, but at the end of the day, I mean, let's keep in mind he is 20 years old and not absolutely crucify him, if you will. Also, I will say this. Ty Gibbs tried to play up the uh, the bad guy role. Listen, nobody wants to be the bad guy. Like you don't grow, You're not 12 years old and thinking, you know, I want to be, when I get to NASCAR, I'm going to be the bad guy. I'm going to be the bad guy. No one dreams that. No, one, Everyone's always thinking that they're going to be most loved. Fans are going to love them. They're going to buy my merch. They're going to blah, 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 blah. He does not want to be the bad guy. He's trying to embrace the role to hide his embarrassment. He did it, uh, in my opinion, very poorly in his speech, but it is what it is. I will say this. If he's looking for a way to embrace that, the first thing he should have said when he got out of that race car was, I wasn't going to wreck him, but I got to him and he turned him around. So. Didn't mean to really turn around, meant to rattle his cage up. 
that would have a lot of people would have been booing and then been very confused as to what their next step should be. They'd have been, they would have been, it would have turned them to mush. It would have turned them to mush. They wouldn't have had a clue what to do. It would, the whole thing would have been ridiculous because that's one heck of a line. And if he could have played that line after that, heads would have blown up. They wouldn't have known what, which way to go. That would have been a heck of a way to, uh, to address that whole situation. But anyways, that's all I got. Just wanted to, just wanted to let you guys know that Based on my research, uh, Ty Gibbs is, in fact, not Jesus Christ. I'll let you know if I find anything that, that proves otherwise. As always, I love each and every single one of you. But now, I gotta go.